Alright YouTube, today I am trying out a mini ACR. It's an automatic charging relay for my boat. It's a 2020 Bass Tracker Classic XL. Here's the starting battery. And that would be the uh, quote unquote house battery. And there is the ACR. <clears throat> so, the function of it as you can see, is to automatically combine batteries during charging. It isolates the batteries when discharging or at rest. So we're gonna see if this works. I got it all hooked up. Spent a while doing it yesterday. And there's my nominal voltage uh, from the electronics battery. That looks bad. Of, uh, you could see 12.7 right now. So I've used it, I haven't charged it in a while. Um, I used it actually all day, so it should be fairly depleted for now. And I don't think you'll see these numbers, but as of right now, you can barely see it, it says 12.7. Ignore the numbers at the bottom uh, of 26.7, that's my troller motor. It's just so I know where it's at. So we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up and we're gonna see if the 12.7 is gonna rise. So right now I got, what do I got? I got 12.8, it's rising on the top. That's for my starting battery. Twelve nine for starting battery. Man, that looks bad. Sorry. Oh, we got twelve eight. So I think it actually did go up one. Twelve eight. Gosh, that looks bad. I'm sorry. Well, uh, if you can see it, the top says 13 volts. So we should start climbing here. We got 12.9. I don't want to give it any revs uh, for pretty obvious reasons. in there at about 12.9. I will come back here in a moment. Oh, here we are, uh, 13 volts. So it is working from what I can see. When I actually started this initially, uh, battery voltage read about 12.5 volts if I remember right. So we are actually charging and we're charging well. The top rests at 13, or you know, starting, and then the house battery, quote unquote house battery, is currently at 13 volts. And just to ensure it's working, we'll go ahead and check for the LED on status. Solid on indicates combined. So, looks like it's working. Got 13.1 there. 13.1. And... 13, if you can see it. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible. I don't know why. Anywho, it works, we're good. As a matter of fact, you know what? We'll drop this down for a second. We'll, uh, we'll play with the jack plate. Yeah, probably 
probably shouldn't do that. All right, yeah, we're climbing back up. 12.9, it was down to 12.8. Yep, so we're good. It is actually charging. So we're gonna do a quick check here just to make sure that the cranking battery is indeed isolated from the house battery when we're doing something like trimming or something like that. Just to make sure there's no loads actually being placed from battery to battery. All right, so I'm gonna trim this up real quick. Right now, we're sitting at 12.6 on both of them. Let's see what happens. All right, the bottom is steady, the bottom is steady. Bottom is steady. 12.2 on the top, the cranking battery. Okay, we got 12.3 on the top and 12.6 on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and trim that back down. Almost all the way. So we got 12.2 on the on the cranking battery, 12.6. Yeah, it's pretty stable. I like it. All right, thanks for your time, guys.